In this video, I'll be showing you how to borrow against your Terra Luna coins inside of the Anchor protocol to take out a loan in the form of UST. And now UST is the algorithmic stable coin on the Terra blockchain. And by utilizing this method, you allow yourself to never have to sell your Luna and you can extract more value from that asset that you have to go ahead and purchase more assets. This is the game the rich play to keep on compounding their wealth, to avoid paying taxes, and to keep on acquiring more assets. You use your assets, you take out a loan, you borrow against them to buy more assets. If this is something that you want to learn, then be sure to stick with me until the very end of this video. And if you are new to Crypto Empire, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, like this video, comment, share it with your friends, and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And let the gains be with you. Welcome to Crypto Empire. My name is Connor and this is where we dominate the crypto markets. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to be showing you how to borrow against your Luna to take out a loan in UST. And then from there, you're going to be earning ANC anchor token rewards, which is going to mitigate the interest that you pay on the loan. So it is practically free money. So the first thing that you need to do to start this method is get the Terra Station wallet. By the way, I will say I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research before you buy or sell or interact with any DeFi protocol. You need to understand what is going on here. Anyway, the first thing that you're going to need is the Terra Station wallet. I'll leave this link down in the description below. It's on the Chrome Web Store. Make sure that you do get the official wallet offered by Terra. Again, make your username and password, put your seed phrase in a very safe place where nobody's ever going to see it. All of the usual security protocols when it comes to cryptocurrency. The next thing you're going to need is some Luna coins. So go ahead and get some Luna. The major exchanges that it's sold on are Binance and Qcoin. I did show you how to get Luna and send it to your Terra Station wallet inside of the first Anchor Protocol video that I made. I'll leave a card right here if you need to watch that to figure out how to get Luna in your um, Terra Station wallet. Also, like I said, you're going to be earning ANC rewards. Right now, Anchor is trading for $1.85, which is very nice. And this is going to mitigate the interest that you pay on the loan you take out. So you're really going to be in a profit. So we're on Anchor Protocol right here. This is step one starting from the top. As we can see, I do have my Terra Station wallet. I do have some Luna in here. I have 11 Luna currently. So we're going to be using that. So if we head on over here to the borrow tab, this is where we're going to be doing most of the action. So right now we can see that with B Luna, we need to provide some B Luna. But in order to do that, we need to get B Luna. So we need to mint it from our current Luna we have in our wallet. So we're going to start by heading over here to bond. And what we're going to do is we're going to bond some Luna to mint B Luna. Now this is basically you're staking your Luna. This is how all the rewards are generated. So you stake your Luna right here by bonding it. There is a 21 day unbonding period. So be aware of that. We'll be focusing on that a little bit later in this video. So just be aware. So we're going to select a validator to bond with. I'm just going to pick B harvest. You can do your own due diligence on the validators over here. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to choose B harvest and I'm going to mint the B Luna. So now I'm going to put in my password to go ahead and go through this transaction. Okay, so there we go. We paid a fee of 25 cents in UST. And we can see we bonded 5 Luna. And now we have 4.99964 B Luna. So not bad. We can now go ahead and use this B Luna to take out a loan against it in the form of UST. So over here we can see the net APR is 30.94%. And where this is actually derived from is from the borrow APR. This is the interest that we pay for taking out the loan. We're going to be paying 19.45% to take out the loan. You might think that's quite a high interest rate, Connor. I don't want to be paying that. Well, there's a catch. The catch is this distribution APR. This is the amount that you're going to be paid in interest in ANC tokens, which gives us the net APR of 30.94%, which is profitable. Okay, so definitely key to understand that. So right now we're going to provide our B Luna. So we can see we're going to deposit all 4.99964. And we're going to get 36.01 UST because that is the current exchange rate of Luna coins to UST. So we'll go ahead and hit proceed here. So we'll go ahead and bond our Luna. 
and there we go we paid 25 cents for this transaction so let me break this down for you we provided 4.9 luna which is in the current exchange rate sixty dollars and 15 cents in UST. So this is now going to allow us to borrow against our collateral value of $60.15. So how to do that? Up here in the borrow section, all we do is hit borrow. Now this is a slider that is pretty similar to Aave if you guys have seen my Aave tutorial video. Basically this is your loan to value ratio. If your loan to value ratio is too high, you can get liquidated. Basically in order for that to happen, like right now, Luna is trading for uh, $12.14. If Luna was to tank in value out of nowhere, basically your loan to value ratio would then rise if the price of Luna fell. And if your loan to value ratio hits 60%, as we can see here, if your loan to value ratio reaches the maximum 60%, a portion of your collateral may be immediately liquidated to repay part of the loan. So you're going into debt here, so you need to understand that you're using leverage. If you don't know how to use leverage, then stay away from it because it's extremely dangerous. However, leverage is used to get ahead in this universe. You need to understand the concept of leverage. It is very powerful. So basically, stay safe with your loan. I wouldn't recommend exceeding 25% to be on the side of caution with your loan to value ratio. If you want to be riskier, you can go ahead and take out a riskier loan, but I do not recommend that by any means. Again, if the price of Luna tanks, your loan to value will go up and if you hit that 60% well then you get liquidated and you lose a nice portion of your investment which you don't want to see. So right now we're going to take out a loan to value of 25% which is going to allow us to borrow $15.07 from our $60 collateral. So basically we're taking out a loan of 25% of our collateral and we're going to pay a transaction fee of 32 cents right so we're going to receive fourteen dollars and seventy four cents i feel comfortable with that we'll go ahead and hit proceed we'll submit this transaction and just like that we now have a loan taken out from our luna we have fifteen dollars borrowed so this is fifteen dollars we now have and we never had to sell any luna in the first place do you see how powerful this is especially if you hold a large amount of Luna and for some reason you need some cash. You can just take out a loan against your Luna. You can get some cash and you can go do whatever you need to do. This is the power of a hard money loan using collateral. It's very, very powerful stuff. So I definitely do recommend if you do take out a loan here, you need to keep constant tabs on your loan to value ratio. Right, the max loan to value is 60%. And like I did just discuss before, if the price of Luna drops, your loan to value will go up, right? Because the value of your collateral will decrease. So you're either going to have to put in more collateral or you're going to have to repay your loan so you are no longer in debt. So if you did actually want to go ahead and repay the loan, you can do that very easily up here in the repay option. And right, the maximum we can repay is the amount we borrowed, which is $15.07. And we can go ahead and do that, but we're not going to do that right now. Over here in the Govern tab is where we see our anchor rewards. So we can see down here, we have actually already earned some ANC tokens. Obviously, it's been like a few minutes since we took out the loan, but we can see the 50% APR, and we are accruing the anchor rewards, which, like I did discuss, does offset this borrow APR that you need to pay as interest for the loan, right? You're actually in profit about 30.94% with this method, which is very, very powerful. Now, let's say that you wanted to use this $15 to go ahead and buy more Luna. Well, it's very possible to do that. You can head on over to TerraSwap.io, right? This is the decentralized exchange on the Terra ecosystem. And as we can see, it says $5.52 in UST. But if I refresh the page now, because we took out that loan, this is going to be showing 19 UST, I do believe. Yeah, 19.69. So what we can then go ahead and do is purchase more Luna with this loan, right? We can get another 1.24 Luna using the money that we borrowed against. Go ahead and put this transaction through. There we go, we just bought another 1.23 Luna. So what we can then go ahead and do is head back on over to Anchor Protocol and we can bond some more Luna, right, 1.23.
get some B Luna. We'll use B Harvest again. We'll mint this. Okay, so we just minted another 1.23 B Luna. And now watch how powerful this is. What this allows us to do is to then go ahead and provide this B Luna. And this gives us a new borrow limit of $45. We'll proceed. And now basically, we just gained another 1.23 Luna without actually having to sell anything, right? We used the loan to buy more Luna and we increased our collateral value now. So this is very, very powerful. This is how you use your assets to borrow against and purchase more assets. So also, let's say for example that the price of Luna pumps. Let's say Luna pulls a 10X and it's trading at $120. This would mean that the amount of our collateral would also 10X, right? Because this is B Luna, tracks the price of Luna. So that means our collateral value would go to $750, which would greatly increase our borrowing power. And if this were to happen and you wanted to withdraw, some of your collateral, you could do that down here in the withdraw section, right? You, right now I can withdraw 3.45 B Luna. But like I said, if the price pumps, you're gonna be able to take out more of your collateral. So that is definitely an option for you if you do expect the price of Luna to increase in the future from the time that you do actually put out uh, your, your loan. So when you do withdraw your Luna, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have B Luna in your wallet. And you're gonna to wanna to switch back into regular Luna, of course, right? But the thing is, like I said in the beginning of the video, it takes 21 days to unstake your Luna from B Luna to regular Luna. If you want it instantly, you can do what's called an instant burn. And just know that you're gonna to have to pay a premium when you do do an instant burn. But if you want your Luna right away, which then you could use to do whatever you want with, right? You can sell it for any other asset, right? It's your Luna, you can do whatever you want with it. You, you can do the instant burn. But otherwise, you're going to have to wait the 21 day vesting period to unbond your Luna. That is it for this video right now. I hope that you did get a better understanding of what the Anchor Protocol can do for you. It is a very powerful mechanism on the Terra ecosystem to allow you to borrow against your assets, to take out the loan in UST, and do whatever you want with that loan. So this was a quick tutorial video on the Anchor Protocol showing you how to borrow against your Luna to take out a loan in that UST, and then earn those Anchor rewards to offset all of the interest so you are getting free money, which then you can use to buy more assets. This is super powerful. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you let me know by leaving a comment down below and also dropping a like on this video. And if you're not already subscribed to Crypto Empire, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire, and I will see you in the next video.